Hello and welcome, my name is Meeplis, they, he, she, and today's pick is My Love Mix-Up series wrap-up, story by Wataru Hinekura and art by Aruko, a follow-up to my initial thoughts review of last year. This nine-volume shoujo manga series was originally published between 2019 and 2022, translated by Yang Kash into English. It was subsequently published by Viz Media between 2021 and 2023. There was also a Japanese live-action series back in 2021, and Wikipedia tells me that there is a Thai live-action series planned for this year. Content notes for misunderstandings, mix-ups, amnesia, slow burn, fat phobia, accidental exploration of sexuality, cross-dressing, homophobia, surprise kiss, and pining. Overall, a fairly innocent T-rated shoujo manga. Keywords that came to mind reading this series, first love, coming of age, high school, studying, and how do you even date someone? Question mark. Flipping volume one over, it is described as, quote, Aoki has a crush on Hashimoto, the girl in the seat next to him in class, but he despairs when he borrows her eraser and sees she's written the name of another boy, Ida, on it. To make matters more confusing, Ida sees Aoki holding that very eraser, and thinks Aoki has a crush on him. Spoiler warning, besides flipping through all the volumes on camera here, we're going to go a little bit deeper on the plot. The mix-up gets cleared up fairly quickly. The boys think they are going their separate ways. Then Aoki realizes he really does have a crush on Ida, and he suggests, what if we really did try to date? Not much on the interwebs about Wataru Hinakura. Aruka is described as a Leo whose hobbies include laughing and getting lost. Among other series I have yet to get my hands on, she also illustrated one of my other favorite shoujo romance series of recent years, My Love Story, which is written by Kazune Kawahara. Link in the cards to that now fairly dated review. Looking at the writing and the art, the first thing I would point out about this series is just how hilarious it is, not just in the dialogue and the plot, but also the amount of visual gags, silly faces, and use of tones. There's lots of significant looks and self-conscious flailing, but nothing too dramatic or too sentimental. The only flaw I would note, because it is notable, is that it really doesn't feel like they knew exactly how to stick the ending, although it certainly didn't ruin everything that came before. There's an annoying, quote, twist, and it also sort of piddles out at the end. Sexuality is obviously pretty front and center when it comes to this series. There's some homophobia from a mentor slash teacher figure that the characters have to work through. His friends support him, and the teacher does come around fairly quickly. That said, there aren't really any labels either, which may or may not be important to others. I don't know. For all the silly assumptions and miscommunications that plague our OTP to start, their friends, who end up in the supporting heterosexual couple, are always ever so slightly messier, which I did appreciate. One or two very side teenage characters admit feelings for adults, but thankfully neither goes anywhere. Of all the intersecting identities I like to look at in everything I read, the only other one that felt like it popped up in any significant way was disability slash anything outside of the perfectly able-bodied, aka every once in a while there was a fat joke of some kind, which is pretty annoying and dumb, and the primary reason I could not give this series Lydia up to the final volume a 5 out of 5. But yeah, perhaps unsurprisingly, gender, race, class, and place felt ignored. Wrapping things up, this series is the one I've probably highlighted to the most random IRL people in my life of any comic series since I started this channel, so poor. I'm not super great at rating series volume by volume, but I did specifically rate most of the series 4 out of 5 stars, so I could rate the final volume less than that. Is it perhaps a tad bit high? Maybe. See my f first wrapping up comment and leave me some more good Josai romance manga recommendations. Bye y'all, keep reading, and stand with striking workers. And literally graphic is created on land that should be given back to the traditional landholders which in this case is, to my knowledge, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, Anamishnabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation.